let's discuss one more interesting question here we don't have ratio we don't have the point dividing the line in the ratio so how to solve it but one important information is also given let's start solving it find the ratio simple it's given find the ratio you need to find the ratio in which the y-axis divides the line segment it's given y-axis is dividing the line segment point is not given but line is given okay let's see how we can use that information divides the line segment joining the points phi comma minus six and minus one comma minus four also find the point of intersection so we need to find the ratio we need to find the point of intersection where y-axis is intersecting the line joining point two two points you can say a and b for a while okay first of all let's plot on a graph paper for the purpose of understanding i'm still repeating if i plot anything on the graph paper in this chapter is for the purpose of understanding we are not supposed to do in examination for understanding only we are going to plot it let's start so first of all, I need to have the x-axis and y-axis. Let's start. So let's say this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis. Simple. Done. So y, y dash, x and x dash. Origin from where it starts. Okay, there are two points. Let's name the points 5 comma minus 6. So let's say a 5 comma minus 6 and b. What's b? which is minus 1, minus 4. So let's start with plotting point A. So 5 and minus 6. So 5 is somewhere here. I'm estimating and minus 6 way a little down. Let's say this is your point A. Done. Now point B, minus 1 here and minus 4 little over here. This is point B. Done. Now let's join them. Let's join them. So we come to know that. Uh, right. This is how the line looks like if I join it. Okay. Let's connect properly. Yes. Done. So this is how it looks like if I plot on the graph paper. Now you can see that y axis passing through it, intersecting, intersecting. And they are saying that this is the intersecting point. This is the intersecting point. We need to find this point and we need to find the ratio. Let's say this intersecting point is P. Now, can you tell me the coordinates? I don't want the exact answer in numbers. What will be the coordinates of this point P? As it is a y-axis, what will be zero? Remember the first session we started with, I told you y-axis and x-coordinate, those are very, very important, right? So here, if the point is on the y-axis, what will be zero? x-axis, so x-axis zero comma y. Why am I writing y here? Because I don't know the answer. I need to find it, okay? Now, let's talk about the ratio M1 and M2. We need to talk about the ratio as well. How can we talk? What are we going to discuss about the ratio? So let's say this can be M1. Okay, let me use the another pen. This can be M1. This can be M2. So my plotting is almost done. Now we understood that where are my two points are where is m1 where is m2 where is the point p and y-axis are you getting the idea you can even draw this for understanding it will give you clear picture that where my point lies and what do we want to find we want to find m1 and m2 ratio we want to find the p as well very interesting question we don't know how to find so far no worries in this question i'm going to use k formula it is very simple we discussed in a previous session that m1 by m21 formula or k formula while you find the ratio always prefer the k formula it is easy to get the answers quickly now here let's write m1 by m2 is equal to k and the ratio i will be writing will be k by 1 this will be my ratio if i get the answer in the form of k so let's start which formula I will be using? Yes, 
section formula and in that also I am going to use k formula. So let's write I will be writing p0 comma y because the coordinates will be 0 and y not x and y remember x will be 0 because the point is where y axis okay so let's write the formula now which is kx2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 comma we need to write same for the y coordinate which is ky2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 done now let's substitute the values whatever we know so far we don't know value of k we don't know value of y but we know value of x2 and x1 y2 and y1 so let's name them here this will be my x2 and y2 this will be my x1 and y1 so let's substitute the values so what i'm going to get here it will remain as it is 0 comma y is equal to k as it is what is x2 yes minus 1 plus what is x1 5 so 5 and denominator k plus 1 as it is done comma k i don't know what is my y2 minus 4 then plus what is my y1 minus 6 then denominator k plus 1 simple now what to do okay let's simplify further even okay 0 comma y is equal to minus k plus phi denominator k plus 1 comma minus 4 k then minus 6 denominator k plus 1 simple now whenever any value was missing like a coordinate or like variable any kind of unknown quantity or ratio what we were doing we were comparing x with x coordinate with x y coordinate with y now we want to find two missing quantities here two missing quantities so we need to have two equations let's say if i take y coordinate y is missing over here and if i connect this with its y coordinate over here i won't be able to get the value of y or even of k because i will be getting one equation one relation i can get most not anything more than that but if i compare see carefully if i compare if i compare 0 with this one then i can get value of k so this is what we need to do this is the very important information we do have when it is mentioned that the point is on the y axis right very important so what i'm going to do i'm going to compare x x x coordinate of this point and x coordinate of this point and i will get the value of what k then after getting the value of k i will substitute i in the in this in this equation also or x co in this y coordinate also you can say or you can compare with the y and you will get the value of y as well so let's start with the x coordinate so 0 is equal to minus k plus 5 divided by k plus 1 now this k plus 1 whole will be multiplied with 0 so i can write here anything multiplied with 0 will be directly 0 so 0 is equal to minus k plus 5 let's shift over here or k you can also shift so minus 5 is equal to minus k minus minus will be plus so what is the value of k which is 5 simple done very easy let's solve for the intersecting point which is y with the help of k so i will be writing as y is equal to minus 4k minus 6 denominator k plus 1 done now what i'm going to substitute instead of k i'm going to substitute instead of k as 5 so y is equal to minus 4 instead of k i will be writing what 5 and minus 6 be careful here and 5 plus 1 so let's simplify further let's do here so y is equal to 4 5 is a minus 20 and minus 6 denominator 5 plus 1 6 so minus 26 over 6 will give you minus 13 over 3 so that's the value of y 
I have two values with me value of k ratio which is 5 and value of y minus 13 by 3. So my final answer let's write the answer the ratio is ratio is m1 by m2 is equal to k so m1 by m2 is equal to 5 can I write 1 in denominator yes so my ratio is 5 by 1 and my point is p 0 y will be what p 0 comma minus 13.3 so this is the case let's recall the steps first of all we had all informations given most of it indirectly so you can see that point p half information is not half information is given and some is missing for ratio again not given so we have value of a value of b remember i did plot this graph for the purpose of understanding that y line y axis is dividing the line joining a b in some ratio that we need to find m1 m2 so i've used the formula of k for this so after it remember that is x coordinate 0 because point is where y axis so start with that equation get the value of k then after getting the value of k substitute or compare the coordinates of the y then you can get the value of y so what we need to find ratio that's done and we need to find the point which is 0 comma minus, minus 13 over 3 next sum we are going to do, do which is of the x axis is going to divide a line segment 